you know, <laughs> the more that I think about all this Wall Street stuff, the more I think that this is just more fake news. <laughs> I mean, everything that is in the news is, is so... <laughs> it's like the quotations have quotations at this point. But, uh... Like, like everything is so fake. Like, everything that you see... You're lucky if, if even 10% of it's true. I mean, I, th I think that the local news is somewhat reliable, but it, it just depends on what they're talking about. You know, if they're talking about this, this virus, uh, definitely not. <laughs> but like, local stuff that, that has no reason to be political, they're just reporting stuff that happens. You know, I feel like you can, you can trust that. And something that I've noticed is that a lot of local news stories, because I see just horrible, horrible stories in the local news from all across the country. And it never gets reported by the mainstream media. Because it's not politically correct. It doesn't sell a particular narrative about certain people. So it doesn't make the mainstream. I mean, if that doesn't piss you off, like, you're not a decent human being. You know, the, the fact that, like, all these horrible things just get swept under the rug. Also, we can talk about some pretend victim and their pretend depression. You know, for, for days or weeks or months, however long it is, until the next pretend victim with their pretend oppression comes along. And what's really bad I'm back, don't worry. <laughs> Were you afraid that I left? <laughs> what's really bad is that, you know, you have all these people that, that believe that stuff, okay? They believe that stuff. And then you have people that, that die and and are seriously injured because of this stuff, because of what people believe. The stuff that people think is true, that isn't true, they're reacting to, and that reaction causes violence. That reaction causes havoc, okay? That's why they call it like a simulation, because they're trying to get a reaction out of people. In order to get the reaction out of people, all they have to do is set up a particular scenario. And then people react according to the scenario that they think they're in. I'll be real, it's actually pretty brilliant. You know, if, if, you, if you zoom out and, and look at everything that's happening and, and how it's happening and, and how many people are falling for it and how stupid these people are and just the stuff that comes out of their mouth, you know, making all kinds of excuses for these pieces of shit. Um, you know, it's crazy. But it's, it's, it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty genius, though. I mean, so many people, they think... Oh, they're not there. They're, they're not that smart. Donald Trump is the smartest card they ever played. It just sucks, though, that he's gone. I mean, I know that I'm not the first to say this, but Twitter is so boring now. Twitter is so boring. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm just wondering what will happen spice things up, you know. This is pretty uneventful so far. 
even though we're probably going to war with Iran. But who gives a fuck, right? It's the Democrat that's doing it. doesn't matter. Nobody's going to pay attention to it. Nobody's going to care. Uh, <laughs> it's just the way it goes, man. The only time they care about war is whenever a Republican's doing it. It's true. That's why I assumed that I was a Democrat, because I was mad at Bush. Still mad at Bush, because we're still fucking there. <laughs> And Donald Trump tried to get us out. Now, I know he was doing drone strikes. You don't have to tell me that. But he did try to bring the troops home. But, you know, they, they really want to stay there, though. I mean, I don't know about the troops. I mean, I'm sure some of the troops want to stay there, but a lot of the troops want to come home. But, you know, they got, they got shit to build out there, you know? They can't build that shit if we're not over there occupying those locations. Pretending that we're there to help. I think that we need to eliminate the word help from the dictionary. You know, since a lot of these words have completely lost their meaning and people just use them in ways that are pretty much obsolete because help doesn't help, um, I think we should just get rid of them. You know, let's, let's just do the cancel culture thing all across the board. You know, just cancel all the words. We're just going to have to do that from now on. Yeah, 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 you know? We might as well do that. Because a lot of the stuff that people say doesn't make sense anyway. 